So many of you who follow Barb's Dog Rescue in Puerto Penasco are familiar with the story of Frida, a little German Shepherd puppy who is the coolest dog. Anyway, Frida does not have uh, much use of her hind legs. She cannot stand on them. She cannot walk on them. It's kind of a tragic thing to see. I saw it the first time when she was just a little pup, very new to Barb's. And I looked at her and she looked at me and she dragged herself across the kitchen floor to come say hello. And from then she just found herself a nice little place in my heart. <music> Welcome Puerto Penasco lovers. This is the Rocky Point Podcast with award-winning host Thomas Baldrick. Hello there and thank you for joining us on this episode of the Rocky Point Podcast. This one is about a dog. Well, not just about a dog, but about a group of people who have gone to extraordinary lengths to try to help this dog. It's a group I nicknamed Team Frida, and leading that group is, of course, the one and only Barbara Muma. And then there are her sponsors, uh, Jim and Mary, who wanted to do anything and everything to help Frida. Uh, Amy Lake, a, a woman who helps the rescue uh, out of Minnesota. And then the women at Halo Animal Rescue in Phoenix, Heather and Alana. Alana was the foster mother for Frida for about a month. And then yours truly was uh, Frida's uh, Uber driver and kind of uh, emotional support human and buddy. We were looking to see what could be done medically to help Frida, perhaps surgery, perhaps physical therapy, whatever that could maybe get her more mobile in her life, enjoy a better quality of life. So this episode is about the coming home of Frida. And it was quite an experience. Just this past week, Frida came home to Barb's Dog Rescue. And I had uh, the responsibility, <laughs> the unique honor to bring Frida home from Phoenix to Mexico. But before we get to the little travel log that I put together, understand on any given day, there's about 350 dogs at Barb's Dog Rescue. And Frida was just one and Barb was worried over her tremendously. For months, we talked about it. And she kept saying, I don't know what to do. I want to get her help, but she's so happy here. I don't know what to do. Eventually, Barb let her go. And then every day, couldn't wait to get her back. Frida is a special dog. It's looking like we will uh, be getting her some custom wheels so that she can get around better at the house and outside the house in the sand. And uh, we'll see about a forever home. Could quite possibly be her forever home is at Barb's Dog Rescue. And if it is, then we'll have some uh, exciting news for you on that. But now, here's the travelogue that Frida and I put together to show you about our journey. It's not every day a guy who's not even a dog owner gets to bring a special disabled German Shepherd puppy from Arizona to Mexico. But that's what happened on our journey, me and my girlfriend, Frida. Right, Frida? Some dogs are just funny, and, and Frida is one of those. So before I got to the Halo Animal Rescue in Phoenix to pick up Frida, I made sure she had a nice, comfortable bed. I had blankets, I had towels, I had uh, water for her, I had uh, some food bought her a toy, had everything she would want. Had the windows cracked. You know, dogs love to hang their head out the window. Why? Because they can, but not Frida. <laughs> a mile or two down the road, Frida wanted to be on the floor behind the back seats of my car and not in the nice, comfortable bed. So I pulled her over, lifted her back up onto there, got a couple miles more down the road, and there is Frida on the floor again in the back seat. We went through this exercise, I don't know, three or four times. But look at this picture. Now, if you could get mad at a dog like that who just wants to lick you and give you kisses while you drive, good luck to you. You are a stronger uh, doggy parent than I am. 
Now, Frida is potty trained, but no matter what she does, she's going to wind up messy. I found it's an interesting <laughs> situation because uh, she has some pride, she has some dignity, and she doesn't want you to, to clean her after she does her business. She wants to just be left alone. That's a good girl. But in our case, we had to uh, get her back into the car. I just thought it would be more comfortable for both of us <laughs> if we uh, cleaned her up before we did. So I don't want to gross you out by this, but just the day I had her, Frida had diarrhea, which she has had a lot in her life. And just think about the care that she requires every day and the love that needs to go into that care to provide for Frida every single day. And that's what's so special about Barb's Dog Rescue. We're now in Ajo at the Circle K getting gas. And we've come to uh, an agreement, a little bit of uh, negotiation. So Frida has this bone and Frida will agree to stay up there and not on the floor down there so that I can keep an eye on her. Isn't she adorable? Well, I spoke too soon. Here we are a mile down the road because someone was letting me know that she dropped her bone. Was it you? All right. How about if we chew it in here? No, the bone, not my hand. <laughs> How about if we chew it in here? There you go. That way it won't fall again. Can we try that? All right. Thank you. If you weren't so cute, you'd be in trouble. We are now in Y, Arizona. Why, Frida? Well, we stopped to give you a little playtime. Ow! We stopped to, to give you a little playtime with me. Now, we're having... She doesn't quite know what to do with this bone. She chews it for a bit and then she leaves it alone. And this toy that I got her, this little guy, she doesn't quite know what to do with him either. Right? And he squeaks. Oh, he squeaks, Frida. After all that, now you don't want it? Come on. If this one in the back seat only knew, a whole village stepping up to help her to live a good life. Okay, Frida, here we are at the border. So make sure they know you're a Mexican dog. If they ask us any questions, bark in Spanish, okay? Little water break in Sonoita. We uh, got through the border. Frida talked us through and there was a nice lady there. So now we're on our way to Puerto Penasco, right? We're still trying to please you, Frida. So because you've been such a good girl, Let's try this. Is that good? So what do you have there, Miss Frida? Huh? What's that? What's that? What are you chewing? Hmm? So this will give you an idea who's in charge. I buy her a toy, have treats, bone, from Alana, and what does she want? She wants to chew on the handle for my bungee cord in the back. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, Frida, so here we are. We're a minute from home. I can hear your friends barking. You ready to do this? I want you to know that Barb and Estella and Cindy Lynn and Jose and everyone missed you and be prepared for Barb to cry because she cried two days ago when she called and asked me to come pick you up okay so know you are loved thanks for being such a great travel buddy I love you too all right let's go do this huh <laughs> let's I know <laughs> Make no mistake about it, when Frida saw Barb's Dog Rescue on our way back, she was excited. She sat up, she was barking at the dogs as we passed, they were barking at her. 
She knew where she was. She was happy. And of course, Barb was happy to see her too. Who's that, Frida? Who's that? Frida! Frida, 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 Frida! Hello, hello, hello! Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been, huh? I missed you so much. I missed you so much. Yes, I did. Yes, welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Okay. Okay. So you live here? You live in a house. You live in a happy girl look at you go look at you go Yay. Yay. the next day I went back to check in on Frida and, and head home to Arizona and for a dog who can't do much with the back half of her body, she jumped up on me with her two good paws and I took it like, thank you. Thank you for bringing me back here. Thank you for bringing me home. I'm happy again. So thanks to all of you for all you do to help dogs like Frida, for all you do to help Barb at Barb's Dog Rescue and know that everything you do is not only appreciated, it is very much needed. I'm Thomas Baldrick. Thank you once again for being part of the Rocky Point Podcast. Mm -hmm.